Hello. Okay na. Okay na po. Ah, disclaimer Hello. lang. Hindi ako masyadong maano dito. Nag Last Saturday din naman nag-stop yung Zoom meeting natin. Ito nag-stop bigla. Okay. Meron bang time ito? Pasensya Wala lang. Pas. Okay, sige. Saan ba tayo tuloy? Ano? Sa pamahiin po, Pas. Okay. Oh, okay. All about tradition. Uh, yung mga traditions natin, kinatanggap natin, wala tayong alam about history. Even sa, sa scripture, yung nangyayari sa, sa Old Testament times, wala tayong alam doon. Di ba? Traditions of Israel, traditions ng marami. And yet, Although wala tayong alam doon, we take them as true. Tama? Okay. Then we have science. This refers to all the knowledge which we individually gain through personal experiences. Tradition may be thought of as the second-hand knowledge experiences as first-hand knowledge. Example, a student may learn that water is composed of two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen. That's a second-hand knowledge which is true and accurate. However, if you go to the laboratory, do the electri uh, electrolysis, this knowledge becomes first-hand and personal. So that's science. Okay, nagdadagdag yan sa atin ng knowledge. Sources natin yan ng theology. Pero ito, revelation. By revelation is meant a special act of God whereby he makes known to man truth that could not otherwise be known by any means. Okay? So, it's all about revelation. When you talk about God, it's all about revelation. Okay? Now, do you have any questions doon? Medyo bilisan lang natin. Let's go to the next. Ito na ang pinakaano natin, ano? Dito tayo sa subject proper. Lesson 1 is classes of belief in God. Maraming paniniwala sa Diyos. Okay? Uh, una, tingnan natin ang anti-theistic system. Una, we have agnosticism. This is a belief that nothing can be known beyond human experience. Hence, God cannot be known by man. Human mind is incapable of knowing anything which lies beyond and behind natural phenomena and is therefore necessarily ignorant of supersensible and divine things. So, if you look at this chart, dito sa table, yung basic tenet nila, it is not possible to know whether God exists. We cannot know how the world began. And they say, I don't know if there is a God or not. That's agnosticism. We cannot experience God. Kaya sabi niya, it's beyond human experience. So God cannot be known by man. Then we have atheism. It's a denial, of course, of the existence of God. If he did exist, nothing definite could be known of him. This is also a denial of all positive knowledge of the supernatural. So dito sa atheism, there is no need for God. The gods of the Greeks and the God of the Bible are the same. Sabi nila, I know there is no God. Then we have theism. The words theism and theism mean the same thing. Since one is derived from Latin, deo, and the other from the Greek, Theo, for the name of God. However, ito, theism has been called the religion of absentee God or a religion of nature because it holds that God created the universe and endowed it with laws for its continued operation and that he has never intervened in any way with it since the beginning. Deists argued that if God's creation were perfect, he would not or he would not need to intervene, and that any intervention of his part would be a sign of imperfection in his work. Therefore, they rejected the concept of a special revelation from God, such as the Bible. 
So, dito ang basic tenet, God set the universe in motion and left it to its own results. God no longer interacts with them. Any reaction? Pastor Rich, do you have any reaction dito sa deism? Uh, meaning, uh, when, when, when God created the universe, that's, that's it. That's no it. No need for intervention. Yeah, wala na. <laughs> okay. Parang bala na kayo kasi I made the universe perfect. Uh -oh. No no one needs something because already perfect. Parang wala na pa kailangan yung Panginoon. Parang hindi na wala na sa intervention. Okay. Ibig sabihin, parang hindi, God is not personal. Yeah, personal. Wala. There's no need for us to no pray. Relationship, relationship with Him. Parang Correct. Ganun. So, ibig sabihin, rejection of the revelation. Walang Bible. Because, yan, perfect ang aking creation. Yan na kayo. Bala na kayo dyan. Tama ba? Parang, meron po kasi yung sabi, Pastor, na parang nabubuhay sila sa sarili lamang nila kasi no need God because they know how to live their life and they no need God to, to ano ba, hindi nila makita yung, yung pagtulong ng Panginoon. And ito pala yung paniniwala, DSM. Mm -hmm. Mga tao. That's DSM. Okay. nag na ako. Perfect. Hmm. Kung nag-intervene pa ako, ibig sabihin, there is imperfection sa aking ginawa. So there is no need for divine revelation. Now let's move to theistic system. Ito yung theism natin. Theism is the belief in the existence of God or gods. Most generally, the term is used to denote monotheism, a belief in one God and that He is the creator and preserver of all things. However, the word is associated with a variety of beliefs as follows. Number one, dualism. This is the belief in two antagonistic gods or eternal gods, the one good and the other evil. My classmate ako noon sa college, bali Iranian siya. She's from Iran. Um, Nakaklasiko siya sa philosophy. Talagang uh, pinaninindigan niya that there are two antagon, uh, there are two gods. One is evil and the other one is good. But these gods, two, antagon, uh, two antagonistic gods, are eternal. Kaya nga, ang sabi niya noon, pag, parang doc doctrine ito ng Zoroastrianism, Everything that is good na nangyayari, it's created by a good God. Kaya kung titingnan natin itong mga bagyong ito, they are created by evil gods. So that's dualism. Now we have tritheism is the belief in three gods. Tatong Diyos. Kaya kung ang paniniwala mo na si Kristo, Diyos, si, si, ang, ang, uh, the Father is God, the Holy Spirit is God, and Jesus Christ is God, but separately, there are three gods, but we believe in one God in three persons. Tama? Okay. Sa India, parang mayroon ding three gods. Gusto ko mag-research nito. Yung, uh, there is a God who created, there is a God who preserves, and there is a God who destroys. Mayroon creator, mayroon preserver, and my wrong destroyer. Okay. Then polytheism is the belief in the existence of many gods. The Apostle Paul mentioned about polytheism in Romans 1, 21 to 23. It says, um, as a result, uh, this, this Romans 1, 21 to 23, uh, na ni Apostle Paul has something to do as a result of apostasy from one true God. It says, for although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. Okay? Henotheism. Have you thought, uh, narinig nyo na ba itong sinasabing henotheism? Ngayon lang, Pastor. Okay. 
This is a form of polytheism which is a belief that there is one God for its region or race or nation. The type of belief can be seen dito sa 1 Kings. Sa 1 Kings 20-23, And the servants of the king of Aram or Syria advised him, Their gods are the gods of the hills. That is why they were so strong for us. But if we fight them on the plains, surely we will be stronger than they. Okay. Uh, tingnan natin ng kunti yung tradition ng Roman Catholic. Di ba? Para bang bawat munisipyo, mayroon silang santo. Mayre-relate mo ba? Mayre-relate nyo ba ang ganitong paniniwala sa henotheism? Sa baryo namin, mayroon kaming santo. St. Joseph. St. Joseph. Di ba? Parang gano'n. Tama? Kaya nga, pinagtatakahan ko, uh, may mga sinasabi na ito anya sa lugar na ito, mas milagrosa ang santa. Naniniwala ba kayo? Daniel. Okay, kilala ko ito si Daniel. <laughs> Sir Dan. <laughs> Hello po. Okay. Ano lang tuloy yun? Okay. <laughs> Di ba sa, sa ano natin na may kanya-kanyang santo? Yes po. May kanya-kanyang santong uh, santo na pinaniniwalaan sila. Parang hinotism mm-hmm. ang paniniwala. Tama? Tama? Okay. But, uh, kumbaga sa ano, this is a form of polytheism. May kanya-kanya silang ano. This is, ang, ang, ang ano nila, sabi nga dito, um, their gods are the gods of hills. Their gods are the God of the sun. Tama. Okay, then we have the pantheism is the belief that all things are gods and that God and the universe are identical. Whereas the Bible teaches that God is only is not only in all. Sabi sa 1 Corinthians 15.21 but is also over all. That is... Christianity holds to the immanence of and transcendence of God, but pantheism, by making the universe to be God, must deny that God exists apart and over the universe. So tingnan nyo itong table. Pantheism, the basic tenet, we are all part of God. Everything that exists has God in it. They say a pantheist would look at the tree and say that tree is God. Kung ano ang tinitingnan mo, the river is God. Naniniwala ba kayo doon? Pastor Dan. Are you a pastor now, Pastor? Associate lang po. Daniel, pastor ka na? Nag-associate lang po. <laughs> okay. Some objections to this belief. Number one, pakibasa. Pastor Rich. Uh, oh, by the way, we go back. Let's back up a little bit. Mayroong naturalistic pantheism teaches that matter, the material universe, is God. And therefore, eternal and is the cause of all life and mind. Then we have idealistic pantheism denies any real existence to the material universe, identifying God as the sum total of mind and spirit. Okay, so my objections... Pakibasa, Pastor Rich. Objections dito sa pantheism. Number one, or letter A. Nawala po si Pastor Rich. It okay. Practice. Sige, tawagin ko si Chilina. Nandiyan ka ba, Che? Unstable yung Chilina. <laughs> Okay, the personality uh, of God, it proves very difficult to pray to the universe or to, 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 to find comfort in the universe. As a heavenly father, the Bible presents God as an infinite personal being, non-simply as a simple 
simply as an impersonal mind or principle. Okay. So, sabi rito sa pantheism, everything is God. Tama? Kung everything is God, the sun is God, the tree is God, ibig sabihin, God is not a personal God. So, kaya mo bang manalangin sa hindi personal God? Kaya mo mo, John Lloyd, kaya mo bang manalangin? Because it's difficult to pray to the universe or to find comfort in the universe as a heavenly father. Pa, sa ano kasi, nung nasa school kami sa, sa subject naman philosophy, there's a divine, divine uh, natural law. Which means, pag once na nag-worship ka, it sounds like enemyism. Kung parang nag-worship ka sa trees, parang you're denying God in the appropriate way of knowing it, knowing Him as your God. Parang napaka, <laughs> ano kasi pas, is kind of lost for me in His name. Pag once na pag-worship mo yun, pag once na pag-worship mo yun. malinaw. Ilagay mo yung ano mo. <laughs> what I mean is, what I mean is, ano, kasi sa philosophy, may tinatawag na divine law, which is, Divine law and natural law. It's sounds of separations of creations and separations of understanding about God. And pag once na nag-worship tayo for that thing, to consider it God, yun isang bagay na created by man or create, kinreate ni God. It's a sounds of, pwede tayo maging any, any beism, which is the old belief about nature which is hindi tayo consider as a Christians. Parang ganun, pag na-worship tayo ng other thing, pukod kay God. Kaya we need to know that there's a supremacy over creation. Okay. Let's get down. Hello. Pastor Dan, natutuwa ko na dito ka. Sige nga. Mag-react ka dito sa number one, letter A. It is the opposition or objection dito sa pantheism that everything is God. No. Mm-hmm. Parang hindi. <laughs> so yung objection po sa atin is practically destroys the personality of God. It proves very difficult Medyo itas, to pray. Medyo itas, tas ang ano mo. Ay, so. Di ka masyadong nakikita. Ay, I'm happy. Ayun, yun. yun. Yeah. Nakita na. Mwapo ka pa rin pala. Oh. <laughs> It proves very difficult to pray to the universe or to pass off to the universe as the heavenly father. So the Bible presents God as an infinite personal being as simply as an impersonal mind or physical. So in the Bible po kasi pinipisan po sa atin na si God ay infinite or ano yun? <coughs> uh, walang hanggan, walang katapusan. Mm-hmm. It's very different po sa kung tayo po ay mag-worship sa, sa mga bagay-bagay na uh, Parang ito po ay ginagawa ng ating mga ninunuto noon po dito sa ano, noon. Sila ay sumasamba sa mga puno, sa araw at sa so, iba't mga bagay. But since na uh, narinig sa atin ng Panginoon sa so, maliitan ng kanyang salita po, na He is, ano, sabi nga po sa Bible, at the Alpha, at the Omega, at the beginning, and the end. Yon. So napakita po sa uh, meron sa ating ang Diyos na siya ay hindi maitutumbas o hindi maitutumbas sa mga bagay na sinasamba ng ibang mga tao o ng ibang mga ano, uh, nilikha niya. Okay. Other reactions? Nandiyan ba si Rosita? Dumaog? Wala? Uh, tingnan natin itong mga participants. 16 tayo lahat eh. Sino pa na dito? Si Larry? Okay, and dito si Marlon. Brother Marlon? Yes po, Pastor. Yes. Okay, so sorry. 
Okay po. So, sabi po dito, sa practically destroys the personality of God. So, it proved very difficult to pray the universe. So, sabi nga po ni Pastor Daniel po, di ba? So, napag-aralan din po namin to. Napag-aralan ko din to habang nagtuturo po na, na nag-iisa lang ang ating Panginoon, di ba po? So, uh, so yung lumagana po ang Christianismo o yung pinalagana po ng mga, ng mga Espanyol, yung Christianismo nila po, di ba po? So, yung, madaming mga gods ang kanilang mga kanilang mga nilikha so may mga god of god of a fire god of river god of yung mga sakahan pero uh, sa paniniwala ko lang po rito na god is only one po na uh, hindi uh, hindi uh, hindi matutumbasan yung yung pananalangin natin sa mga universe diba? kundi siya mismo dapat ang ating uh, kausapin or uh, handa natin ibigay yung ating puso na na manalangin sa kanya mismo po Right. Okay. So, merong mga God of the Sun, God of the River. Parang hinotheism. Tama? Pero dito sa pantheism kasi, ang inaano natin, everything is God. So, Amen. you're worshiping everything. Tama? So, pero, pero pastor, it, makakira po yun sa pag, uh, pag, pagpapuri natin sa Panginoon kung God. Correct. correct. Because God is a very personal God. Infinite po siya. 100% percent Yeah. Person. Siya. Nasubukan so niyo na everything. Ha? Nasubukan niyo na bang mag-worship sa takahoy at sabihin no, mo po. that is God? A pastor when I, <laughs> I was not uh, yet a uh, a Chris uh, no born again Christian kasi yung sa Japanese culture ganun eh nag uh, nag uh, ano sila nag uh, pupuri sila sa mga dahon. Yeah. Talaga. Dahon. Oo oh, po. Yun naranasan ko po yun. Nagaano sila doon sila nagpe-pray. Naranasan ko po magsambang ganun. Doon sila yumuyo ko. And then anything that the make them good, doon nil, ginagawa nila ng Diyos. So naranasan mo magsambang ganun? Opo, opo. Naranasan Pero, ko po yung po okay. sa sabi ano sa matanong, sa Japanese. Matanong ko lang. Ano yung ano what did you feel noong nagsasamba ka sa mga ganung bagay? No, uh, ayan, maganda pong tanong yan. Ano po yun? Uh, habang ako'y sumasamba, ang nasa isip po po si Jesus Christ. <laughs> nasa isip po si kasi Jesus po, Christ. Kasi so, paano po, paano mo nari- i-relate yun na nagsasamba ka sa, ka, po, sa, ano, sa mga dahon? Sama, sama po ako. And within my heart, Jesus Christ is my God. Ah, uh, okay. So, I was a Catholic before po. I was a Catholic before. Pero naging asawa ko, Japanese. Nasa bahay kami nung magulang niya. So I I should have to ano obey. Ah, okay. Yung kanilang ano, yung kanilang uh, culture, yung kanilang pananambahan. Nagbabasa rin po ako ng kanilang Biblia, yung ano nila. Namo ami dabo na mo daw. Yung para sa atin, ama namin sumasa langit ka ganun. Nagbabasa po ako kung ano yung intonation nila, intonation kaya. Pero within my heart, I am praying to God. The only God is Jesus. Ah, yeah. Okay. Kakatuwa Pero sumusunod po ako dun sa, <laughs> sumusunod po ako dun sa batas nila. Kaya lang ako, I'm praying for my own God. My ah, okay. God. Only God. <laughs> Hindi po mapapapo ka, yung paniniwala ko na may Diyos. Nakaharap ka sa puno, nakaharap ka sa dahon, pero ang nasa Opo. sa isip mo. Isa lang po ang iniisip ko. Ah, okay. Jesus is God. <laughs> Yun lang po. Okay, okay Ayun, let's... Ako uh, is... Yes. Tambor na din. Astasi, brother Gary. Is God. Only God, Jesus Christ, is in my heart. Okay, amen. Okay, let's proceed to the next. Letter so, B. Sorry. <laughs> it defies... Sorry for man. the interrupt. man. Okay, okay lang. Okay lang. It defies man. Man is a part of God. Therefore, if man worships God, he is worshiping himself. Okay, let's see. Sino ba dito? Si Jim Well. Where is Jim Well? Any reaction? Hello, Brother Jim Well. Are you there? Wala? Okay, si Aro. Okay. Pastor, magandang Sige. hapon po. Sige, your turn. <laughs> Sige po. Yung letter B po na objection doon sa pantheism na sabi, it defies man. Deifies. Man is a part of God okay. therefore it 
God, he is worshiping himself. So basically, uh, gusto ko ibigay yung agreement ko dun sa objection na yun na it would really defy man. Kasi ang sabi dito nung, nung pangalawang kategory ng, ng pantheism, yung idealistic pantheism na it denies any real existence to the material universe identifying God as the sum total of mind and spirit. Kasi kung lahat, kung lahat po, kung ang Diyos po nasa lahat, kung kunyari nasa puno, mayroong Diyos sa tao, kung may pangangailangan ako, nagpapray ako sa Diyos, eh ang Diyos naman nasa akin. So, so wala siyang logic. Walang, hindi, hindi mo ma... It would defy na nagpapray ako ng pangangailangan ko sa Diyos, pero nandito naman sa akin ang Diyos. So ako ang Diyos. So parang wala siya. Hindi siya, ma, hindi siya talaga logical para sa akin po. Okay. Okay. Hanapin ko itong iba para magsalita. Ito po, Pas. Pwede po. Hello. Sige. Magsalita yung iba, ha? Ah, sige po, Pas. Ako po, Jerwin ah, po. Sige. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> hindi na ako tatawag. <laughs> ah, sige, sige. Oh, sige. Kasi po dito, sabi po kasi dito sa unang kurinto, 8-8, Bagamat, uh, sabi po dito, sa, sa is na po tayo, sa ganang atin ay may isa lamang Diyos, ang Ama na lumikha ng lahat ng bagay. At tayo'y nabubuhay para sa Kanya. Iisa ang Panginoon, si Esokwisto, at sa pamamagitan niya ay nilikha ang lahat ng bagay at sa pamamagitan din niya ay nabubuhay tayo. Yun po. Uh, kasi po dati sa akin, as a uh, Catholic pa po ako, Uh, Nag-aano din po kami. Talagang sinasayaw pa po namin yung regulto eh. <laughs> Sumasama po sa mga prosesyon, talagang paniniwala namin na yun po talaga yung Diyos na lumikha ng lahat ng bagay. Uh, talagang every week din po ko na nagsasamba, na napupunta po sa mga simbahan. Talagang noon po talaga yun yung paniniwala na yun talaga yung Diyos. Uh, sa, sa, ngunit sabi ko salamat sa Panginoon sa Diyos kasi dinala niya ako sa pagkakilala sa kanya sa pagka ano na ang Diyos pala ay hindi nakikita uh, pero nararamdaman at na, nakikita natin na kumikilo siya sa buhay natin kasi nung tinanggap ko po talaga yung uh, salita ng Diyos uh, ang laki po nung nabago sa akin at talagang naniwala po ko na yung narinig kong salita na yun ay okay. galing talaga sa Diyos. Okay. Sige. That's good. Ayan. Si Brother Rohel. A great yeah. man. Ikaw ba to? Pastor ako. Oh. Ah, sige. Yeah, <laughs> po. Irata ay po. Ah, sige, sige. Ah, uh, yung pong sinabi kanina sa letter B, it defies a man. Deifies. Pwede po. It oh, defies. Ibig sabihin, tinataas mo ang sarili mo na parang Diyos. Opo. So, pwede po itong sabihin na ganito, sasabihin mo na ang sarili mo, ang sasambahin mo. Pero um, ang sabi nga po, di ba, uh, we are the image of God. We should be, we should be Christ-likeness, di po ba? Mm. We should be Christ-likeness. So, kung ang Panginoon po ay nasa atin, image tayo ng Panginoon. Right. Pero nasa so, sa at pende sa atin kung sasambahin natin yung sarili natin dahil we know the real God is Jesus. Dito kasi sa pantheism, if you are a part of God, di ba? We are all part of God. Sabi, everything that exists has God in it. So if, uh-huh. kung, if, if God, you are a part of God, tapos nag-worship ka sa Diyos, partly, we don't worship mo rin yung sarili mo. Tama? <laughs> Precise point ng letter B po. <laughs> it would appear nagsensical po, illogical, na winworship mo pa rin That's ang sarili good. mo. Okay. Kaya ano ito? Objection to sa pantheism. Number three. Sino ang magre-react dito? Or magano? It says, it destroys the basis for morality. Okay. Sige. 
Si brother dito. Sirsis Vasquez. Sige. Brother Sirsis. Hey, good afternoon po, Pas. Yes. Yung letter si po, it Apo. destroys the basis for morality. If all is yeah. God, then not only all good, but all evil is also good. Kung baga, pas parang sinasabi dyan na parang magiging normal din yung mga git. Pag masama, parang para pwedeng mabuti. Hmm. Parang wala nang pong masama, pas. Like, <laughs> di ba? Yung morality ng mga tao, parang nagiging normal na po yung, nag- yung masama. <laughs> Kung mabuti naman po, parang nagiging normal na din. Parang ganun po, Pas. Tapos, i-share ko rin po, Pas, yung naiintindihan ko rin po sa objection sa letter A and sa B. Yung time po ni Fero, di ba po, nag, si Fero po is naniniwala sa God of Thunder, ganyan po, di ba? Then, nung wala po nangyayari sa mga dasal na pinaggagawa niya, then nag-stand up po si Moses na, ito yung God ko. So, hmm. doon pa lang po na sinasabi na yung mga God nyo, is wala namang ano yan wala namang ginagawa wala namang tulong so ito po yung pinakita mo ko kasi ito na ba yung tulong ng God na si Jesus Christ na po na si God the Father okay sige let's proceed ano ang pagkakaiba ngayon ng ng itong panentheism sa pantheism Panentheism, dito sa pantheism, sabi, we are all part of God. Everything that exists has God in it. And they say, a pantheist would look at the tree and say, that tree is God. Sa panentheism, a panentheist would look at the tree and say, God is in that tree. Nakita nyo ang difference? Yes, po. Okay. Pag may nakita ng isang bagay, God is in that object. Sa pantheism, God, that, God, uh, that, that object is God Himself. Okay. Ayan, may lumabas na isa. Okay, one of the examples daw dito, yung mga advocates is the New Age Movement. Tinignan ko ito kanina kung ano itong New Age Movement. Ang narinig ko na rin. New Age Movement spread through the occult and metaphysical religious communities in the 1970s and 80s. Their beliefs include belief in reincarnation, astrology, psychics, and the presence of spiritual energy in physical objects like mountains or trees. Yan. New Age movement yan. Kaya they are considered na ang kanilang pananampalataya is panantheism. Now let's proceed to the biblical theism. The only really acceptable meaning of theism according to doon sa kinuha kung ano aklat is the belief in one personal god who is both immanent and transcendent but even among those who profess faith in this kind of god there is division anong division ito there is unitarian concept and historical christian view what's the difference between the two Itong Unitarian concept of God is a belief that God exists in only one person. This is a form of monotheism which is held by the Jews, Mohammedans, and Unitarians. Dito naman sa historical Christian view holds that the one God exists in three persons or personal distinctions which is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. Dito sa atin, common religion ito sa atin, na-mention kasi dito yung Jews, Mohammedans, and Unitarians. Now, dito sa ating religion, can you cite a particular denomination or religion dito sa atin which has a Unitarian concept? Oneness, Pas. Oneness. Okay. All, denom- all denominations. Denomination ba yan? Meron ganun pas. Aha. Uh-huh. Mahamidans? One one de- one denomination. Oneness. Oneness, oneness, okay. Yung Iglesia ni Cristo. 
sa tingin nyo, historical Christian view or Unitarian concept? Iglesia ni Cristo. Iglesia po kasi, ano, pastor? The only belief that God is one. Unitarian concept po. Unitarian concept. Okay. They don't believe on the Trinity. Tama? Yes. How about yung um... Jehovah's Witnesses. Same. Same to pa. Unitarian concept. Unitarian concept. Okay. How about pas yan o? Yung Katie Boloy pas? <laughs> Unitarian concept or historical Christian view? Humanitarian. <laughs> Unitarian concept. Ah, humanitarian. Ah, yun o. El Shaday pas. Siya na nga, siya na nga. Yung mga pas. Awas na. ka daw ang ating kaluluwa eh. Kaya <laughs> nga, uh, pas ano yan? Ano, Saan so natin lalagay yung pas? Unitarian o humanitarian? Humanitarian. 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 Sorry. Humanitarian. Humanitarian yun. Humanitarian. 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 Pera-pera na. Humanitarian. Mayaman talaga siya. <laughs> Sino ba nakarating na sa, sa Mindanao? Sa Davao? Mas mayaman talaga siya kasi number two siya sa, ano, sa uh, mga religious leaders sa buong mundo na may pera. Number two siya. Talaga? Richest uh, millionaire. Uh, number two siya, Pas. Kaya talagang ano, malaki talaga. Pag, Pero yeah, pagdating na sa... sa pagbaba <laughs> namin sa airport sa Davao, nakita ko ang laking building. Habi ko, akala ko hotel na magandang. Yung pala... <laughs> Ano ni Bahay. Hindi yung yung Bahay. Ano niya pas yung kingdom niya pas kingdom. Kingdom ba yon? Yun ang kingdom. Apo kingdom niya yan pas. Ah. Okay. Nandoon okay. lahat pas yung ano, yung kanyang ano. Ang ginawa niya ni ang style niya pas parang ano eh ah. Sabi nga niya is yung Davao is the new Jerusalem. So lahat ng tao gusto niyang doon dalhin para parang um, isa isa cult to pas. Bulto siya na nangyari. Cult talaga cult. Yeah. Andun po ba yung Garden of Eden? <laughs> Ay, sabi niya wala lang. Nag-destroy ng Garden of Eden. Ba, yung River of Jerusalem nga siya. Wala. Yung Jerusalem. <laughs> Prince po, Tigris. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's proceed sa lesson 2. Taposin natin to ha. Lesson 2, the existence of God. How can I know there is God? Nobody has seen God, tama? Yes. Does He really exist? Is it possible to prove His existence or is it just a matter of personal belief or faith, so to speak, on the basis of what the Bible says? But if I were not a Bible-believing person, how could one convince me that there is really a God that exists? Or if I strongly believe that there is a God that exists, what evidence or evidences can I give to prove that God exists? Alibawa, hindi naman ako naniniwala sa Bible. Usually kasi, when we approach a person, we introduce that person about God, then, ang palagi nating kinukot, yung scripture, yung Bible. Tama? Sabi sa Bible, ganito, ganito. So, ang tanong ko nga, ang tanong dito, what if I were not a Bible-believing person Paano mo ipapaliwanag sa akin that there is the existence of God? Wow, hirap niyan. <laughs> so, dito tayo sa una, philosophical arguments or evidences for the existence of God. Dito, these are implied arguments without using the scripture. Tama? Okay, dito tayo. Since the day of early philosophers like Aristotle... Men have sought to prove the existence of God by various arguments. These arguments are based not upon the Bible or any special revelation, but simply upon the facts supplied by nature. Tama? Some men believe that these arguments are legitimate and that they do prove what they are designed to prove. Although there are some objections to these arguments, they show a large degree of possibility for the existence of God. For the Christian whose belief in God is based upon other 
uh, other means or other than reasons, these arguments are unnecessary. Sa atin ng mga Kristiyano, because naniniwala tayo sa Scripture, hindi na kailangan yung mga philosophical arguments na to because strictly, we believe on the Scripture. Pero kung hindi ka naniniwala sa Scripture, hindi ka naniniwala sa Bible, at least itong mga philosophical arguments would lead para maniwala tayo, there is the existence of God. Sabi nga dito, but they do serve to substantiate our faith. So it should be said in defense of these arguments that Apostle Paul in Romans 1.19 says, What may be known of God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. So dito, Apostle Paul gives biblical authority for investigating nature to discover to what extent God's existence is revealed therein. So pag... pag uh, hindi naman talaga ako Bible-believing person, at least masusubstantiate natin itong mga arguments na ito. At least this would lead para ma-improve natin that God exists. Okay ba? So number one, cosmological argument. Evidence of cause and effect. The word comes from the Greek word cosmos, which refers to the order of the universe or the whole of creation. This is an argument from cause and effect which states for everything that happens, which is the effect, there is something which causes it to happen. This is the cause. Example, if there is a car, there must be somewhere a car maker. If there is a watch, there must be a watch maker. Tama? This argument can also be stated as this. Everything which has had a beginning was produced by a sufficient cause. The universe has had a beginning and therefore must have had a cause sufficient enough to bring it to existence. The universe is, it exists. Therefore, there must be someone who made the universe. That someone must be God. Take note that this cosmological argument is not a direct evidence. This is an implied evidence. Hindi kasi ito nagsasabi that there is God. Okay. Any reaction dito? Philosophy ito eh. Napag-aralan natin ito sa philosophy. Any, any reaction? Sige. Nagano si John Lloyd? concept kasi pas uh, philosophical sa uh, malinaw okay yung concept kasi pas ng ano ng cosmology ng philosophical arguments for existence of god and cosmological arguments and evidences of the cause and effect quoted siya from the theory of thomas aquinas which is the summa theologica which is there's a something maker or the uncoscos na sinasabi na hint, and the first mover kung baga na hindi binase kina ginamit yun concept ni Aristotle tapos ginamit ng konting theology yun concept niya para ma prove that there is there is God mm-hmm. sa argument na yun na hindi magkakaroon ng creature kung walang creator. Yun yun siya nasabi sa Soma Theology kani Thomas Aquinas. Okay. Siya lang po. Ah, si Pastor Rich parang nagkakamot ng noon niya oh. Pastor Rich, ano ang reaction mo dito? Can we ano magagamit ba natin tong argument na ito para masubstantiate ang ating pananampalataya that there is really that God that exists. Although Bible believer na tayo. Uh, ano kasi parang half truth lang yung story kasi walang evidence sa kulang man lang. Uh-huh. Parang half truth lang siya based lang sa sa cause of cause and effect dahil may bunga siguro may puno siya. Parang ganun. Uh-huh. And we cannot uh, yung ano ba hindi mo convince 
yung isang tao and ha, sabi ko nga half truth lang na pwede mo siyang masabi uh, na may ano talaga may tinigil may juice talaga kung ito lang yung basya natin half truth right lang. kaya nga sabi ko this is implied implied this is not a direct oh. argument but at least masusubstantiate kasi if there is something that exists isipin mo paano yan lumabas Paano yan nagka- how, how did it happen? Paano yan lumabas na mayroong nature? Okay. So sa atin, sasabihin nila, oh, there must be somebody who created that. Tama? There must be somebody who created that. Okay. Then we have teleological argument. Okay. Evidence of design or purpose. The word comes from... Okay, balikan ko itong cosmological argument ito. Balikan ko, naisip ko. Uh, usually kasi, kahit yung ano kasi natin, parang yung paniniwala, even science, parang basta na lang yan lumabas. Di ba yung, yung ano? Yung, have you heard about itong Big Bang Theory? Science po. Ano yung alam nyo sa Big Bang Theory? A thousand years past. A ah, million uh-huh. years na, 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 na nasa space siya dahil nagkaroon ng, ng parang effect at nagkaroon na ah, doon nga sumabog at nagkaroon na ng mga mundo. Yun ang pinaniniwalaan ng scientist na okay. the earth is created by a big bang theory sa gas. Suma- a hot, hot ball of gases. Ah, yeah. Parang ganun pa sa ngalala. Hot ball of gas tapos nagmumove and then there was uh-huh. collision. Nag-explode. Yes, ganun. Tapos yun na ang start. Nag-create na lang ang universe. Okay. At yung anong mas, doon? Yes. Yung, yung Big Bang Theory po, as far as I remember in our science subject, yung universe, it began in a single point. And at the end of the time, it stretch. Yung nagkalat po. Oo. Uh-huh. So nag-cool siya. Tapos nagkaroon ng mga planets. And ano. Ang tanong kasi doon, saan nagsisimula or saan nagsimula yung hotball of gases. May simula pa rin yun. Precisely. So go... Yes. Kasi ano, iisipin mo talaga kasi yung existence ng isang bagay, kung hindi mo alam yung origin niya, ahanapin mo yung yung pinagmulan. So yes. basically, itong, itong cosmological argument ay isang magandang bagay din na magsasubstantiate ng faith natin. Kasi ah, uh, I remember na nakapanood ako ng isang uh, video sa YouTube ng ng isang ATS na nakikipag-argue sa isang klase ng mga Christian. Pumunta siya sa oh, class. So, tapos, okay. Tapos inargue niya yung existence ng yung yung non-existence ng ng God through through physical objects, parang yung yung existence ng mundo ang ang, ang gina-justify niya ay cost ng science. Mm-hmm. Itong mga Christians naman, tinatanong nila kung saan nagsimula yung mga binabanggit niyang mga bagay. Kasi ang, ang pinaniniwala niya, it appear out of nowhere. Itong mga elements na ito, it appear out of nowhere and there is collision and after which nagproduce ng maraming ng maraming mm-hmm. life. Pero ang, ang argument ng mga Christian believers dun sa klase na yon ay kung saan siya nagsimula. Yeah. Pero... Ending ng video na yun actually ay yung ATS na yun actually is hindi talaga siya ATS. He was actually, nagpapanggap lang po talaga siya ng ATS. Ang gina-justify niya, importante sa isang mananampalataya na pinag-aaralan din natin yung origin ng mga bagay-bagay kahit sa hmm. science. Kasi ng ito ay support na makakapagpatunay ng existence ng Diyos na sinasamba po natin. Even yung ating ano, mm-hmm. di ba sabi na yung yung organisms, kung balikan natin ang science, it all started from a very single cell. Tama? So, it's a product of mutation. Ah? From a single cell, naging multicellular cell, tapos naging, ano tawag dito? Uh, multicellular, tapos uh, Nagkaroon ng bacteria, pagkatapos nito, from bacteria, ano pa, uh, nag, nagkaroon ng creature sa 
sa water, nag-creature sa land, naging fossil, ay ang tag niya, reptiles, naging amphibians muna, naging reptiles, tapos ano pa, naging birds, naging mammals. Okay. Pero mayroong principle sa uh, anong tawag dito, uh, sa science na everything tends to wear out. Principle of thermodynamics. One of the principles of thermodynamics is everything tends to wear out. Ang lahat ng bagay ay nasisira. Tama? Lahat ng bagay ay nasisira. That's one of the principles of thermodynamics na alala ko. Pero sa science, sabi na from this simple cell, naging multicellular cell at patuloy na nag-mutate. Just imagine that. Just imagine that. So, balik tayo dito sa cosmological argument, although this is an implied argument, but this will substantiate our faith that there is a God that exists. Okay. Then we, yes. Apo. Ah, sa akin po, kasi tulad po sa atin, kumbaga, ano ba ang ginawa ng mga nagpakilala sa atin tungkol sa Diyos? At ngayon, bakit tayo naniwala sa Diyos? Sa akin, simple lang po, ang pinaka parang po sa pagkaunawa ko po. Kumbaga, kung sino tayo noon, at mm -hmm. nung may narinig tayo na salita, kumbaga parang may naging impact sa atin, na iyon ay eh, hindi salita ng tao kung hindi meron talagang kumilos. Kasi sim pinakamadali po para patunay sa kanila na meron talagang Diyos una sa lahat yung hininga ng tao. Kasi wala sa mundo sa kayang gawin ng science na magbigay buhay sa isang tao o gumawa ng laman o parte ng katawan ng tao sa science sa ngayon. Pinakamadali po yun. At Pangalawa, yung ibalik ang buhay nung isang namatay. Hindi kayang gawin ng science. Dahil ang pwede lang talaga maggawa nun ay ang Diyos. Ngayon, sa atin naman po, para ipakita sa kanila na totoo ang Diyos, siguro po pinakamaganda lagi sa lahat yung karakter po natin kung paano po tayo makikipag-usap at okay. kung ano ba yung pagkakaiba natin noon sa ngayon, uh -huh. kung dati, right. uh, nakikipag-away po tayo ngayon, uh, hindi na. O kaya nagmumura, nagiinom, nag, uh, na, maga yung mga ganun. Hindi na po natin ginagawa, kundi bagkos tayo po ngayon ay good na okay. mabuti. Okay. Yes, yes. okay, sige. Let's proceed sa teleological <laughs> argument or the evidence of design or purpose. The word comes from the Greek word teleos, which has to do with end or purpose. This argument refers to the evidence of design in nature, which shows us that there is a designer. All plant and animal life show that there is one, God himself, who designed it all. Okay. This argument is also related to the cosmological argument, while the cosmological argument has to do primarily with the existence of the universe, the teleological argument has to do with the quality of character of the universe. The various things and objects which make up the universe have design and appear to have been made to fulfill a purpose to accomplish a certain end. There seems to be some intelligence or mind behind the creation. It must be God. Do you believe that the world has a design? Yes. Paano mo i-prove to? Do you believe that human creations has a design? Even living things has design? Human beings have design? Yes po, Paz. True God. True God. <laughs> Sabi po doon sa Bible, ano, likahin natin ang tao ayon sa kalarawan natin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sandali lang ha. Let's not quote scripture. Huwag muna nating gawin yung scripture as an evidence. Dito muna tayo sa design. Okay. Kasi, kumbaga sa ano, I am not a Bible-believing person. Don't use the Bible to prove to me that God exists. Dito muna tayo sa design. 
sa akin pa pastor uh, siguro I would believe nga na may disenyo ang lahat ng bagay kasi kung papansinin natin meron siyang struktura at sistema kung paano halimbawa yung... <laughs> halimbawa example siyempre example yung yung creation ng ng tao yung birth ng tao yung yung system niya kung paano siya mangyayari paano nagkakaroon ng tao okay is actually is parang kung sa sa akin lang na hindi ako nag-aaral ng science kun, kunyari is you would marvel kung paano nangyayari ang mga bagay na to mm-hmm. without without supernatural supernatural interventions Uh, walang walang wala kang makikitang possibilities. So basically yung yung sistema kung paano si for example yung sistema kung paano pagkatapos ipanganak yung yung bata nag uh, he would learn how to walk after which how to talk mga yung mga ganung mga sistema na kumbaga okay. embedded na siya doon sa sa tao. Let's assume the fact Doon sa Big Bang Theory, ano, na nag, there was a collision ng hot ball of gases. Tapos nag-explode. Okay. Sabihin natin na totoo yun. Okay. Pero sa tingin nyo ba, hindi yung design na kung saan yung mga planets revolve around its axis. Axis ba yung tangin? Nagre-revolve sa kanyang ano, axis? Is it access? Orbit. Orbit, right. Orbit. Revolve Plus around story. yung access pala dito. Okay. Okay, bakit sa, sa tingin ninyo hindi yung design? Na hindi sila nagbabanggaan sa kaluwakan? So kung walang designer, pwedeng, yan, nag-explode nga yan. Tapos, yan, ah, kanya-kanya silang position, tapos nag-revolve around the sun. So nagre-revolve sila sa kanilang orbit. Okay. Don't you think it's not a design? Wala dyan na designer. A perfect designer. Now, makikita natin, the sun rises in the east and sets dito sa west. Do you think it's not a design? It's a perfect design. Sa tingin ninyo, ang bunga ay ang kahoy na mangga. na nagbubunga rin ng mangga. It's not a perfect design. Di ba? Yes. So, take note. Perfect. Tingnan natin. Tingnan natin. Kung walang creator, ganito. Na-mention mo kanina yung tao. Don't you realize na sa atin, ang sabi ng science, ah, ah, what, what is the smallest, ano, what is the smallest structure, unit structure of matter? Di ba? Atom? Atom. A group of atom. What do you call the group of atom? Elements. Molecules. Molecules. What do you call the group of molecules? Uh, Element. Elements. What do you call the group of elements? Compound. Tama? Now, yes. compound. Now, ang human being, ang living things are... components or group of compounds. Tayo mismo, tayong tao, sabi ng science, we are made up of different compounds. Pero these compounds are non-living. Now, living cells is also composed of different compounds. Tama? And a group of cells, what do you call the group of cells? Tissue. What do you group a group, group of tissues? We call that as organs. What do you call the group of organs? We call that as system. But there is a missing link. Kung wala itong design, there is the missing link between the group of compounds and a single cell. Nakuha niyo ang gusto kong sabihin? A living cell is a group of compounds which is non-living. Paano nagkaroon ng buhay? Kasi ang science, kahit anong gawin nila na i-grupo-grupo itong compounds which composes a single cell, which is a living cell, hindi nila kaya yan. Amen. Amen po. Tama? 
So kahit anong gawin ng science, so there is a missing link dito sa creation, dito sa pagkakaroon ng life from non-life. From atom to molecules, molecules to elements, elements to compounds. And from compound, which is a non-living, nagkaroon ng cell, which is already a living cell. Saan nagkaroon? Paano yan nagkaroon if there is no body that gives life? Tama? And it's, that's a perfect design. That's a perfect design. Then we have the anthropological argument, the evidence of nature of man. Okay? The term comes from the Greek word anthropos, which means man. Man possesses a nature which reflects in part what God is like. In Genesis 1.26, sabi nga, madidiscuss lang natin to sa mga susunod, iliban natin to when we talk about the personality of God. Mag-jump tayo dito sa next para matapos natin ito. Ontological argument, the evidence of idea of perfection. Okay, the term is from the word ontos, the present participle of the Greek word to be or being. Man has an idea of God who is absolute or perfect in every way. I would ask you, perfecto ka bang tao? Brother Rohel, perfecto ka ba? No. Yes. Yes po. <laughs> perfecto ka? No. Okay. Yes. okay. Saan si ano? Uh, no. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Brother, I see still a little perfect. No, we're not perfect. The only perfect is God. Okay. Kahit masabi natin, Pastor, na tayo ay kamukha uh, God's likeness. Uh -huh. we have everything, the entire sanctification from God. We are not uh -huh. perfect. They're not perfect. Paano mo nasabi na hindi ka perfect? Because we are sinning. Okay. God has no sin. <laughs> diba? Tayo, tayong mga tao nagkakasala from time to time that we're talking, from time to time that we are acting, from time to time that we are walking, we are sinning. Okay. So we're not perfect. The perfect one has no sin. And that is only God. Okay. Saan ba tayo kumuha ng idea of perfection? Saan ba tayo the, nagkuha ng standard? The idea of perfection is from our God. Okay. Yun so, ang tatanong ko sa'yo, Pastor. Where is God? <laughs> perfect. Perfect. The perfect God. The perfect God. Yes. How about po sa Bible verse na sinabi dun that you are fearful and wonderfully made. Hindi po oh. ba yung nag-aano sa per pagiging perfect? Kasi when it comes, the way we... In the beginning, uh, in the beginning you are perfect. created by God. We were created by God in a perfect one. In the beginning, created tayo as perfect one. But you the have... Meaning, we are, we are perfect. Ah, sige, sige. Sige. <laughs> Sina ang mag-react doon sa sinabi ni ano? Na, <laughs> sabi ni Brother Ruhel na... <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Pastor. Nagtataas po si Pastor Richard. Ah, Richard. <laughs> Para sa akin, uh, tama nga, we are created perfect. Kung tingnan niyo yung creation, God made us in own image, meaning, yung basihan po ng standard natin ng perfection is God, and God made us in His own image. Actually, kung tingnan mo si Adam, usually tayong tao, sinasabi natin na, Uh, ano tayo ng parang magkasala ka ba? Tao lang tayo nagkasala. Actually, ang original natin is simula tayo sa kay Adan, walang kasalanan. Meaning perfect. Nag Naggawa ng kasalanan na full siya sa kasalanan. And uh, dun, dun na. Uh, we are sinners in nature but we are actually perfect in the first place. Naging hindi lang perfect dahil sa naging nature na natin na makasalanan tayo. But we are, uh, sabi nga kanya ni Brother Royal, we are made perfect and wonderfully perfect. And, you know. Okay. Any other reaction? <laughs> Ako. Ako. Hello. 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 Okay. Hindi ba sa totoo po kasi, kung pagbabasihan po kasi natin yung, yung, yung perfection, ang Panginoon ay perfecto. Sabi nga natin, 
eh, we created by God as a perfect. Tama po yon. Ang ang inaano ni Ate Ais, we are not perfect na yun. Pero nung panahon na, kas, na tayo nilika ng Panginoon, we are perfect. Yes. Kasi kasama niya, kay, kawawis niya tayo. Pero yes. nung, nung namumukay na tayo, we are not perfect na. Ang tanong oh. ni Pastor, are you perfect? Tanong ni Pastor, are you perfect? Ka. Oh, oh, half up na ngayon. Half perfect. Past, <laughs> Pero, friend, po, past tense. Um, yeah, pa. <laughs> very good, Pastor Joy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Ha? Okay. Nakatawa lang. Sarap lang mag-ano. <laughs> so, sabi ni Brother Rohel, perfect tayo because we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Created. So, that's perfect yun. So, masasabi ba natin na perfecto na tayo because sabi doon sa ano, we're ano, wonderfully made. Tapos tapo sabi, we're created in the image of God. Yes. Siguro, start na ka-depende siya kung saan mo titingnan. Ah, sige, paano 'yon? No, kasi yung yung pinpoint ni ni Ate Ai sa ano yun? Uh, spiritual na aspect. ba? Diba? I mean... Present tense, ano? Present tense ni Pastor. Present question niyo. Oh. Yun yung pinagbasihan ko. Ang tanong ko... Pero pagpapalik tayo dun sa creation, eh, are you talo, perfect? Dun, okay. Tama si Pastor Richard dun sa sinabi niya. Di ba, Pastor? Pastor, uh, Pastor, Pastor Grant? Oh, mm-hmm. Ang tanong ko ganito. <laughs> Sa tingin mo ba, perfecto ka? No. Uh, no. Sabi Hindi ni, po. <laughs> sabi ni bro, Brother uh, Ruhel, yes, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. In what aspect, sinasabi mo, Brother Ruhel, na perfect ka doon? Oo. Oo. Anong perfection ang sinasabi mo doon? Oo. Pero pas ang perfection na tinutukoy ni Brother Ruel doon yung pagkakagawa oh, ng kanyang oh, nilig, yung oh, kanyang body, yung image. Oh, body yun, po. Pero yung, yung ano, yung pagkakaano. No. Okay. Three participants raise hands. Sino ba ito? Okay. okay. Sige. Sige, sige, sige. Sige, Lloyd. Sino ba itong nag-raise ng hadyan ba? Ah, sige. Kasi ano, ang man hindi may ano siya, may mutability. Hindi siya immutable. Katulad ni God. Ang man ay ano siya, madali siyang magbago. Walang perfections na nangyayari sa kanya because he is not God. Oo. Uh-huh. Gets niyo po. Yun lang yung, yun lang gusto kong ibigay na the only one, the only perfect is God. Immutable siya. Wala siyang pagbago. Wala yung changes na nagagawa na para yan. Kumpara sa man. Yun lang po. Okay. Some other hand? Sino ba nag-grace ng hand? Other reactions? Okay. Si Daniel. Ah, sige. May reaction si Daniel. <laughs> about po dun sa about po dun sa question ni we are perfect para sa akin po hindi okay oh, regarding uh, hindi po kasi we are prone to ano eh uh, yung katawan natin ito po ay nadideteriorate at tayo po ay tumatanda you know unlike ang Diyos yun nga po sabi nga po kanina hindi nagbabago is the same uh, yesterday today at habang ano okay nandiyan siya no at regarding po dun sa ano sa kanila po na we are perfect and wonderful in it i think ang ibig uh, ibig lang po sabihin po noon ay uh, tayo po ay yung pagkaka-create po sa atin ay kagilagi na last yung <laughs> para ganun actually when we're uh, watching kung paano nabubuo yung tao sa womb na kanyang nanay ay talagang kamangha-mangha Okay. okay. So, Brother Daniel, are you referring to that 
sa physical. Um, yes po, physical din po. And physical. that is because of ano po. And I think that's because of sa disobedience ni Adam and Eve. That's why na dun po yung nagkaroon po tayo ng ganoon. I don't know okay. if kung hindi po sila nagkasala. I don't know kung tayo po ay <laughs> forever po na nagdod. <laughs> Sabi sa creation, di ba? Everything that God made is what? Perfect. perfect. So perfect. yun ang sinasabi siguro ni Brother Rogelio na I am perfect. Pero tandaan natin what happened doon sa garden. Nagfail ba sila? Hindi. Nagfail. They commit sin. Okay. Although we were created in God's holiness, we are created in the image of God. Pero sa ngayon, ang tanong ko, perfecto ka ba? Pag sinabi mong perfecto ka, are you not committing sin? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now, sabi nga dito, sa evidence nitong ano, na, ito, balikan natin, man has an idea of God who is absolute or perfect in every way, Where did such idea come from? It could not have come from an imperfect being like ourselves. Therefore, it must have come from someone who is like the idea, perfect in every way. Okay. Now, take note na dito sa anthropological argument, balikan na lang natin itong anthropological argument. Dito na tayo magtapos, ha? Sabi dito, uh, balikan natin. Ah... Uh, Man's likeness to God has been marred by sin but still reflects though poorly the perfect nature of God. For example, man has a conscience to tell him right from wrong and to warn him against evil. Man's conscience implies that God is the moral governor to whom we are all responsible. Man's intellect and emotions also reflect what God is like because man is intelligent and emotional We assume that God is intelligent and possesses emotions. Now, sabihin natin na bakit may ano ako? Sabihin natin ang tao that we are not perfect. Saan ba tayo? Ah, uh, bakit may iko ito? Ha? Nag-iiko? Wala na, wala na. Okay. Wala tuloy ako. Okay. If I would ask you, you, are you perfect? Sasabihin mo kaagad, no. Now, ang tanong, kahit you're not a Bible-believing person, hindi ka naniniwala sa kasalanan, sasabihin mo kaagad, ask anyone, are you perfect? Sasabihin, hindi. Why? Kasi mayroon tayong tinitingnan na standard. Who is perfect? Tama? Yes. Meron tayong tinitingnan na standard. Saan tayo kumuha ng standard na yon? We go back to that idea that there must be somebody who is perfect. Tama? Yes. So, even if you're not a Bible-believing person, tanungin mo dyan sa labas. Perfecto ka ba? Sasabihin mo. Sasabihin nila. Diyos lang naman ang, may, ang, ang, ang perfect eh. Tama? Because we have yes. that standard. Nakaset na sa atin ang kaisipan that there must be somebody who is perfect in every way. Tama? Then finally, we have two evidences which is not, this is a direct argument, the evidence of history. The Bible is a historical record of the miraculous intervention in the lives of men. The best evidence for the existence of God is the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Given yan, di ba? History doesn't lie. That Jesus Christ lived, Jesus Christ resurrected. Resurrected. Now, okay. Paano tayo nagkaroon ng sinasabing kung hindi ito totoo, paano tayo nagkaroon sa kalendaryo ng A, uh, BC at saka AD? Ano ang point of reference natin na nagkaroon ng BC, nagkaroon ng AD? Anong ibig sabihin ng BC? Before Christ. Anong ibig sabihin ng AD? After death. Okay. Si Domino. Ano? Ano Domino? Ano Domino? Ano Domino? 
Ano Domini? Ibig sabihin in the year of our Lord. Ibig sabihin, kumbaga sa ano, kaya nga pabawas ng pabawas, di ba? Pabawas ng pabawas from BC, 325 BC, tapos naging 100 BC, naging ano, 10 BC, naging 0. Then from the birth of Christ, then there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we are now in 2021. That means we are now 2021 years from the birth of Of Jesus Christ. Now, kung hindi ito totoo, then kahit sa kalendaryo, wala tayong BC at wala tayong AD. Amen. Okay. That's the evidence of history. Ah, the best evidence for the existence of God is the life, death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Then finally, we have the evidence of Scripture. That's a direct argument. Tayo as a Bible-believing person, kahit hindi na tayo gumamit nitong mga philosophical arguments na ito because we already believe on the scripture given na yon, that God exists because the Bible says that there is God. The Bible says that God exists. Tama ba? Amen. Okay. Amen. Uh, so dito tayo mag-end. Ang assignment ko sa inyo ay teka sandali ha ang ibibigay kong assignment the next lesson natin ah, sige na ayan rinig ko na siya do you have any reaction uh, okay ang assignment sir. ninyo is to Hello, make pastor. some reflections yes assignment I... ninyo bibigyan ano, ko kayo ng assignment wala eh make some reflections On our... Oo, hindi marinig. Hello. hello pas- okay. Pastor, hello. Yes. Naririnig niyo ako? Ano? Meron lang akong idadagdag. Oh, yeah. uh, naririnig. Naririnig okay. po. Okay, okay thank you. Pastor, sa akin naman, yung tanong na uh, kung ako ay ginawang perfect, yes po. Because walang, walang gig-create ang Panginoon na hindi perfect. Correct. Because the Creator is perfect. What made me imperfect is the freedom. Sa uh-huh. lahat ng gusto, the freedom. Kasi doon, doon ang lahat ng gusto ng Panginoon na maging kagaya niya eh. Ang kabanalan niya. Pero because of the freedom na nasa atin, yun, gumagawa ako ng kasalanan. But uh-huh. I was made perfect. So the freedom, hindi yun kinuha ng Panginoon. Nasa atin yun. So sa ngayon, freedom perfect. to choose. Ang tanong okay. ko ngayon, perfect ka pa ba na? O oh, perfect pa ba tayo ngayon? Ah, hindi na. Kasi oh, gumawa na ako ng, <laughs> ng mali. Mm-mm. Meron na kasi. May standard Mm-mm. nga ngayon noon, di ba? May standard okay, nga na nakinikita. Na okay. You created. Lahat na ba ng bagay create ng Diyos? Perfect. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Apa? Oko. Okay. Na, naniniwala ko doon. Ayos. Ano, Pastora Marilu? Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yun Yun perfect nga ako, pero dahil nga gumawa ko ng kamalian, hindi na ako hindi perfect. Na perfect. Oo. Oh, okay. Pero God created us all perfect. Okay. Ano ang standard nyo? Ano ang standard natin na masabing hindi na tayo perfect? Siya nga. Hindi ko sinunod ang kanyang mga salita. Okay. Alam mo, kahit hindi Bible believe, sa atin ngayon, Oo, ang nga. standard natin is the Word of God. Oo. Tama? Opo. Okay. The Word of God. Pero kahit hindi Bible believing person, Tatanungin mo, uh, perfect ka ba? Hindi. <laughs> Hindi. Alam naman nila yan. Okay. Ang assignment natin is pag-aaralan natin ang nature of God sa susunod na meeting. Tanong ko, paki ano, what is God like? Ano bang itsura ng Diyos? Hindi nga, pahapyo lang bago tayo mag-end. Ano ang itsura ng Diyos sa iniisip mo? Iyong binibinta. <laughs> sa kalendaryo mayroong rebolto yeah. sa akin po pas para masabi ko po na ano ang itsura ng Diyos? Itsura, ang itsura po ng Diyos siguro kapag gumagawa po ako ng mabuti yun po yung ano kasi nagiging Christ light po <laughs> okay. tanungin ko isa-isa muna dito ha? tanungin ko na okay tanungin Wala, ko kayo siguro, ano ang itsura ng Diyos? 
Kasi ano siya? Spirit? What is God like? Oh. Wala siya istura. Kasi ano siya? Spirit? Ako, oh, Pastor. Yeah, siya. Okay. Sige, sige, sige. What is God's life? Uh, what, God's, what, what is God like? God's life? Kasi po, yun. Sinabi na nga ni, ni Brother, ano, ni Pastor Jerwin ba? Brother Jerwin? <laughs> na, Brother yeah. Jerwin lang po. Brother. Ano kasi, uh, ang Panginoon makikita sa ating sa ating kaanyuan kapag yung ating sa, sa inner ng puso natin ay dala natin ang Panginoon. Okay. Tabas yun sa ating personalidad. So, makikita ang Diyos sa ating kaanyuan. Pero, as uh, as you are saying, Pastor, that uh, what is God's like? Oh. His everything is nowhere. He's the creator. <laughs> Walang nakakakilala sa kanya, walang nakakita sa kanya eh kahit okay, ito. Okay, wala Okay. Okay. Tanong ko, uh, uh, pag dinidiskusyon okay, natin, pero ibigyan ko na kayo ng ano ah. Gusto ko itong maano ninyo sa isip. Okay. Sabi sa scripture, kasi kukunin na natin ang biblical point of view ano, as a scripture, we are created in the image of God. Amen. Tama? Mm. Naniniwala ba tayo doon? Okay. Mm. Yes, Sabi sa Genesis, We are created in the image of God. Kawangis tayo ng Diyos. Yes. Ang tanong, so anong itsura ng Diyos? Kung kawangis tayo ng Diyos. Si Jesus lang naman ang naging laman eh. Kaya nga, kaya nga pasta si kung naman. hindi ng kawangis ng Panginoon, ang makikita sa atin dapat yung perfectionist natin, yung, per- yung perfection natin natin. As Christ likeness. Okay. Kung ano kaya halimbawa ko siya sa ano, pastor, yung Christ likeness. Yes. Ano pa yung ano, yung katulad ng Panginoon. Siguro may halimbawa ko on just na para siyang isang tubig na ano, nararamdaman natin siya pero hindi natin siya na Bible 'yan. Hindi pa para ano na. Ang tawag niya na ano, nebe. Pastor Sige, sige. Sige, sige. Ang, it is a little bit confusing yung question mo po kasi <laughs> <laughs> kasi when I consider um, yung question niya po, what ano po yung like oh, ano yung po yung Sura. posture? Sura. Sura. Diba sabi kasi sa so, ano, we are created in the image of God. Oh. Of God. So ano yung itsura Pero, ng Diyos pala? Mahirap na tanong yan. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi I'm not sure if God is referring to the physical appearance, yung image ba? Kaya nga, oh. pag ka, perfect ka, di ba? Di nasa yung Panginoon, ikaw ang kahawig na yung <laughs> perfection. Ikaw ang perfect image, the re- perfect revelation of our Father in Heaven. Okay, sige. Jesus Christ is the perfect revelation of our Father in Heaven. <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> Tingnan niyo ha, magkaroon kayo ng research, yung nature ng Diyos. What is the nature of God? So ang pinakaano natin dito is, what is God like? What is the nature of God? Ano ba? Okay, what is the nature of God? Sa anong bagay sinabi na tayo ay nilikha na kawangis ng Diyos? Okay. May nakausap kasi ako, No, sinabi niya, nilika tayo ng nakawangis ng Diyos. Sabi ko, so anong itsura ng Diyos? Tinanong ko, ha? Tinanong ko. Kasi we were conducting a Bible study. Galing siya sa oneness. Oneness ang kanyang faith. Ano? So sabi niya, nilika tayo nakawangis ng Diyos. So sabi ko, anong itsura ng Diyos? Paano mo nasabi na tayo ay nilika nakawangis ng Diyos? Sa anong bagay? Sabi niya, di ganit ganito ganito pa lang ganito ang Diyos. Di ba kung tayo ay mayroong kamay so ang Diyos ay may kamay Sabi sa sa Biblia na naglalakad ang Diyos so ang Diyos ay may paa Ganun ba ang Diyos No he's a spirit he's oh. ano <laughs> he's... <laughs> Okay kailangan maintindihan natin to ha kailangan maintindihan natin ang nature ng Diyos 
para lalo nating maintindihan ang Trinity. Kasi kung hindi natin maintindihan ang nature ng Diyos, doon tayo yeah. nagkakalabuhan, doon tayo nagkukonfuse when we speak we about Trinity. Yes. Okay. So, wag kayong mawano, wag kayong mag-absent kasi dito tayo magpo-focus sa nature ng Diyos so that we can fully understand the concept of Trinity. Through the Holy Spirit, may echo ka, Pastor. Ayan, yan, yan, dito yata. No? Okay na? Wala na. Okay. God is in the Spirit. Kasi okay. the God that within us, so the Spirit of God is within us, so okay. God is... Kasi yun. Tama yun. Tama yun, Sister Lolit, ano? that God is Spirit. That's one. Isa yun sa nature ng Diyos. Pero hindi lang yan. Marami, uh, makikita natin yung nature niya, makikita natin yung attributes niya, pag nalaman natin to, madali sa atin na ipaliwanag ang concept ng Trinity. Paano nagkaroon ng isang Diyos in three persons? Pag kulang ang kaalaman ninyo dito, hirap tayong mag-explain sa concept ng Trinity. Kaya nga, sinasabi nila na, oh, pag sinabi mo, parang, kang, parang tatlong Diyos. There was one na Tinanong ko about the concept of Trinity. Parang iano ko lang ito. Sabi ko, ano ang idea mo ng Trinity? Sabi niya, parang ikaw, Pastor. Di ba ikaw, Pastor, lolo na? Oh, lolo ako. Oh, ngayon, di ba ikaw, principal? Oh, principal. Di ba ikaw, uh, teacher din? Oh, teacher. Oh, pastor. So, di ikaw, na nag isang pastor, Isang teacher, isang lolo. O yun, yun ang konsepto niyang Trinity. Sabi ko, paano ipaliwanag? Paano mo ipaliwanag? <coughs> Kung ako, doon sa, di ba sa baptism ni Jesus Christ? Malala nyo? Sa baptism Opa. ni Jesus Christ, here's the Father talking. Okay, sabi ni, na, ng Father, Thou art my beloved son. Tama? The Father. Sino nagsalita? That's Thou what? art my beloved son. Kanino nagsalita? Kanino nag... Sinong sinabihan? Si Jesus Christ. Na binagta. Tapos mayroong ano? Holy Spirit. Rob, the Holy Spirit. So there's the Father, there's the Son, and there's the Holy Spirit. So God now, is in the Spirit. <laughs> okay. Kung ako yun, <laughs> kung ako... Ako yung father, ako yung son, ako yung Holy Spirit. Okay. Ibig sabihin, parang ako yung salita, kinakausap ko yung sarili ko. Oo nga. Oo nga. Oo nga po. Patulad nung nangako, nag-promise siya kay Abraham, he promised oh. himself. So, so. <laughs> because, of that, because of that promises, he promised himself nung magsalita okay. siya kay Abraham. Kaya because of that promises, okay. he did not Oh, hindi na, hindi niya, ano na English na, hindi niya, binaloktod yung promise at tinupad niya yan at now. Okay. So, yun ha. Pag-aaralan natin, kindly, ano, study yung nature ng Diyos. He's in the wind. He's okay, in... ang ano natin. Ask me, is... tanong po ako. Yes. Ano po ba ang pagkakaiba nung, ano, one God and three person and one God and three manifestation? Okay. Trinity. The concept of Trinity. One God in three persons. And one, one God, God manifests three... In manifestation. Opo, three manifestation. Okay. okay. Sino ba ang tanungin ko muna dito? Pero pag-aaralan natin yan sa Trinity, ha? Pero okay. gusto kong kunin muna ang idea nyo tungkol dito. Adam. Okay, ulit. Brother Jeremy. Ano po? Mag-extend mag tayo ng konti. Natutuwa ako eh. <laughs> one, one God and three, three persons. persons one, one God, God three manifestations. Three manifestations. Okay. Teka mo na ha. Magandang tanungin ko muna. Ikaw. Kasi galing ka sa apostolic. Tama? Opo, opo, opo. Okay. Ano ang itinuturo ng apostolic dito? Ano daw po eh, parehas lang daw po yung ano, yung one 
one God in three person in one God, three manifestation. Kasi sa apostolic po, unitarian. Oo. Ah, unitarian. Opo, opo, yun yung paniniwala ng apostolic, unitarian. Ay, may isang Diyos at <coughs> Kristo na kanyang anak. Tapos nag... Ah, ano, kasi wala daw pong person yung ano, yung God, yung a creator, wala daw po siyang person. Tapos ang may person lang daw po ay yung anak kasi talagang nag nagano daw po siya nung laman, nagsuklob. Okay, Tapos okay. Okay. Maganda 'yon, maganda. Yun. <laughs> 100% plus Jesus Christ is 100% man and 100% God. Oo po. Ah, sa, sa ibig sabihin sa apostol. Kaya nag-aaral din po talaga ako dito. Kaya okay. talaga. Kaya nga tinatanong din kaya, kaya at the very start nagtatanong ako kung saan ang unan yung theological persuasion. Sa apostolic pala, ah, parang nag-ano na tayo. Anyway, sa apostolic pala, ah, ang may per, ang person lang na kino-consider is Jesus Christ. Opo, yes. yun lang. Yung tao. Opo. Yung ama hindi person. Opo, spirit lang po siya. Ah, so dinipay uh, niya, dinipay ano? niya, ano? Then ano yung yan? spirit yes, yes. santo po, yun po yung tagapagturo or tagapag, ano, paalala. Nasa so, Trinity na tayo, pastor eh. Hindi nga, Trinity. tinatanong ko lang kasi, sabi ko, <laughs> basic ito, basic kasi, kaya nag nagaano lang ako, because basic itong pag-aaralan natin, yung nature ng Diyos. The, the Trinity God manifest. Okay. Kaya nga nagtatanong-tanong muna ako sa inyo na parang nag tayo sa Trinity because ang pag-uunawa natin, ang tamang pang-unawa natin sa nature ng Diyos, sa attributes ng Diyos is the basic thing para maunawaan natin ng maayos ang Trinity. Gaya ng sinasabi ni ano ni Jerwin opo, na opo. si Jesus Christ lang ang person. Opo. Yun po yung turo sa The amin. Father is not a person. Opo. Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a person. Opo. Ano so po it's only Jesus Christ ang kinoconsider nating person. Opo. Tapos sa inyong ano, sa apostolic ah uh, ang tawag dito. Sa apostolic, dahil unitarian kayo, yung manifestation at saka one God in three manifestations, one God in three persons ay iisa. Parang ganun po ang lumalabas. Okay. Anyway, pag-aaral natin yan na, hindi pa tayo dyan. Pag-aaral natin ng maayos ang Trinity. Pero itong sabi ko sa inyo, we must know first the attributes of God and the nature of God. Okay? Okay po. Yes. Assignment nyo yun ah. O oh, sige. Opo. Come again. <laughs> sige, sige. Brother Rohel. Can I share um, can I share to you po my understanding when I am studying this the concept of Trinity? Can I share ano? po? Yun. Based ano, sa aking ano pag-aaral, the concept of Trinity po, one God but three persons, they are acting in a single unified being. Nakadepende po rin sa function ng bawat isa. Because there is a Father for creation, Christ for redemption, and the Holy Spirit for regeneration. Aha. Uh-huh. So may function sila. Kanya-kanya function. Maliit Thank lang you. po. <laughs> okay. Distinction. Okay, maganda to. Maganda topic talaga. Ano? Anyway, <laughs> pag-aaralan natin yan. So, again, Ibibigay ko yung assignment. Kindly study. Mag, magbasa kayo tungkol sa nature ng Diyos and the attributes of God. Kasi dito tayo iikot. Dito tayo iikot at pupunta tayo doon sa sinasabing Trinity. Okay. Amen ba? Amen. Okay. Amen po. Mag-check na lang po ako ng attendance dito sa mga participants. Ano? And salamat sa participation nyo. Natutuwa ako sa mga ideas nyo. Natutuwa ako sa pag-participate ninyo sa discussion na ito. Okay. Do you have any... Ano? Hindi ako. Ah, 
paano lang ha? Nakita niyo ba, dinownload niyo ba yung ano yan, yung syllabus na ipinadala sa atin, yung 200 pages na syllabus? Meron ba? Meron. Pag-alala <laughs> wala pong nasend sa group. Paki-forward po. Ano yun, saan yun? Anyway, masyado yung malalim pang seminar yun. So, i-simplify na lang natin. Hindi ko na kayo i-require na mag magbasa noon. But if you want to study, gusto nyong basahin, kindly read. It's 200 pages, 200 plus pages na ano, ano very deep. Pas send nyo po na send yun, Pas. Si Pastor, ano, si Pastor Ed ang nag-send noon. Si Meron siya si Len Pas, 100 pages lang, 104. 104 ba yun? Parang... Opo, 104 pages lang sa, sa, ano, sa leadership kanina. Okay, pero yung investigating ano, investigating theology. Okay, investigating theology. Wala wala pa pass, wala, wala pa kami nakita. Nandito sa group chat natin. I think uh, nandito uh, lang ano. Okay. Tingnan ko, pero that's more than 200 pages kasi. I-simplify lang natin, i-simplify. And I really appreciate your participation. So kindly again, kindly read about any book. Pwede kayo sa Google, sa internet magano, kindly read. Nature and the nature and the attributes of God. These are the basic things. These are the basic knowledge we should learn. We must know before we discuss the Trinity. Nature. namin yung saan Saan? Okay. Sige, let's have a word of prayer. Brother Dan. Pastor Dan. Ano si Pastor Dan? Yes po. You lead us in close. Saan ka ngayon nagstay? Ah, dito po ako sa Tay Tay Rizal. Okay. Good. Yeah. Tay -tay Natutuwa ako na nagkita tayo uli. So you lead us in prayer. <laughs> okay po. Lead us in prayer. Shall we pray? Okay, let us pray. A gracious, loving, and heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity to be part of this discussion. Thank you, Lord, sa buhay ni Pastor Russo for um, uh, using him sa pag-equip po sa amin bilang mga uh, lingkod po ninyo, bilang mga leaders pa noon dito sa amin po mga churches. Dito sa amin mga sipat po sa po kami naroon. Lord, continue to use him mightily. Continue to give him wisdom pa noon na kanyang ma-share po sa amin bilang kanyang mga students. And Lord, um, Open our hearts, open our minds, point on, pagdating tayo na sa mga pag-aaral po namin. And may your Holy Spirit ang uh, mag-ibigay uh, sa amin ng sakap na lakas at uh, karunong ang Panginoon at pagkakapin lahat ng mga ituturo po dito. We thank you, Lord, and continue to protect us, Lord. Saan man po kami naroon. And continue to unite our hearts, point on, sa aming um, purpose, point on, and to ay purihin at mabigyan ng karangalan ng pangalan. We thank you, Lord, sa araw po nito, sa inyo na pinagkakatiwa lang ang nagbibirang oras. And uh, we thank you, Father. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless. God bless. Okay. Thank you, Papa Sol. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you po. God bless po. Salamat po. God bless po. God bless lahat. Thank you. Thank you.